check, check. The elusive scene one. The elusive scene one. The elusive scene one. The elusive scene one. Trevor sits, stands, paces. He's weary, restless, frustrated, waiting. In the end, when all is said and done, I have two feet. I can stand without aid, well, physically at least. In every other way, I'm a cripple, emotionally, romantically, spiritually. I can't seem to do anything remotely helpful for myself or anyone else for that matter. Of course, of course the, the prospect, prospect that this is all a clever, clever disguise, disguise is infinitely, infinitely possible. possible. Somewhere, Somewhere deep, deep, deep down, down, I might have I made, made this some, some twisted choice to to continuously, continuously move, move my, my feet, feet one, one in front, in front of, the of the other in a forward, forward direction. direction. You see, then, all the shit I'm avoiding or ignoring or running from will be in the past. And you should never live in the past. But I have to believe that I could never have chosen this. It must be out of my control. How else can I justify this... this disappointing, disappointing reality, reality I, find I find myself in? in. It would be so much easier if the world was conspiring against me. Look, everyone, it's not my fault. I could be courageous in the face of immeasurable odds. I am Spartacus. I am watch, Spartacus. Me suffer. watch me suffer. But no. Truth, as you've no doubt come to understand, is much less dramatic and, for the most part, if you listen close enough, lacks a memorable melody. No real hook. I have trained my feet to never stop moving. It is the only thing I can truly count on. One foot in front of the other, slowly, rhetorically continuous, slowly, rhetorically continuous. I might never change, but my surroundings will. I might never find the elusive, the dreamt, the intangible. I might never meet whatever her name is, find out who the hell I am, or discover what God I'm supposed to pray to, but I will not stop. I can't. I would shut down, making whatever I become a choice. A choice to stop. If I make that choice, then fuck it, I deserve what I get. Trevor walks into his apartment. He sits at the kitchen table with a coffee. He starts surfing the internet. Dan enters from somewhere in the apartment and is about to leave. He stops in his tracks when he sees Trevor, not expecting him to be there. He's dressed for a night out. Trevor closes the laptop fast. 